Okay, para hacerlo chévere. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for being here. Today is my birthday edition with Stells with my favorite DJ Shorty. And my love, my other love, Miss Lux. She's helped me look so amazing always. So thank you for all being here. Gracias. Thank you for having me. So let's just kick it off. Let's just go. Tell me, tell me, Shorty, what was Vegas like? Oh, man. Um, so a couple weeks ago, I went to Vegas for a lingerie and sex toy convention. Ooh. And um, it was with my bestie sponsor, Brenda Henry, with Seduction.com. Uh-oh. Seduction. And sexual seduction. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. I wow. thought I knew a lot about sex and I thought I was pretty experienced <laughs> and it uh, turns out I am oh, not man. that knowledgeable. Oh, you, you, no, 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 it's no, just no. I'm thinking that that's what we, yeah. What do you mean you're not that knowledgeable? I, I you know what, I that there? would be, so didn't we have this conversation oh, when boy. I was getting my makeup done the other day? Yeah. I was like, I'm totally vanilla. So oh, man. she was like, no, I'm no. Napolitano. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like a virgin now. Oh, oh, like, oh, after no. that, yeah, it was, no. it was, it was good. Oh man, I it went, was worth it. When I went there, I was like, "Okay, there's women in lingerie. Mm-hmm. They're slim. They're thick. Then um, there's I, these toys that look like a um, monster, uh, yep. or alien type phalluses. Yep. <laughs> and then um, uh, there's these things that ah. were like, Ew. like <laughs> I, I kind of feel like the freak here." <laughs> Being the weird goth chick, everything you're describing, I've known what that is. Well, I mean, like, like, I know, I, I know, I know. So I think, I'm like, so I think now, now we're just gonna have I mean, to go like online. on a road trip yeah. or like, like, so that I'm not so vanilla. Oh, oh, I mean, we're gonna do more things with Seduction.com. So I know. So I um, talked to Brenda this week, and she was like, "I want to be your sponsor," and I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah. Oh, oh, that boy. would be awesome. Let's, yeah, she's amazing. Yeah, let's talk about what that means. Well, for me, um, <laughs> like, so do I bring the toys on? I mean, you know, this one I did say, you know, Mom, this is my birthday edition. Please don't come on. So <laughs> if you see something you don't want, like, and you hear something you don't want to hear. So for anybody out there that's listening in, I'm just giving all my secrets away. I love your mom, by the I way. Know, if you're mom. Yeah. I know. She's watching. I know. She was like, moms. she was like, I want to see if it's shorty. I, she was like, <laughs> I love her. Maybe you're I gonna have to do her. like the abridged version in post and edit out all the naughty I bits. Definitely. Well, I was hoping that shorty was gonna bring me toys to oh, check out. Oh man! Oh man! You know, did I, I try just... anything. Did you buy? <laughs> so I, yeah, let's, I, let's hear about she, these uh, these but, naughty but toys. But shorty, shorty is a brand ambassador, right? I, I. Uh, Woo! Woo! Yes. Uh, I forgot so what my be, official right? title was, like officer. Um, officer. Chief officer. Of, I don't know. I don't remember. Uh-oh, officer. So, wait, wait, so like you're the chief sex toy officer? <laughs> <laughs> like, that, like, do you get a badge? That's do you, awesome. you, like, arrest people? <laughs> be like, hi, you're under arrest. Like, I am Officer Shorty. You, you did not use that properly. You've been naughty. <laughs> you, you are not punished. naughty enough. We are here to put a, some Neapolitan in your vanilla. Oh, like, oh, oh, oh. I mean, so. I'm really excited about today's show. Oh, it's going to be a great okay. show. Okay. I'm, yeah, I'm okay, really yeah. excited. I'm excited about today. Don't worry. We'll teach you. I'll, I'll talk I, to I'm you I'm like trying to teach you. Happened. Happened. Oh, no. <laughs> and what happened was. You got your hands full. Yeah. I learned the differences between like water-based lube and silicone mm-hmm. lube and yep. like the different toys and like things that yeah. thrust, things that vibrate and then things that are. There are like, things you don't know look, about. Look at Look at, <laughs> look at <laughs> Look at the face. I'm like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I saw some penises. <laughs> Did you see the crazy. lady that actually does like the monster and animal stuff as well, or like the yeah. the, the other chick who um? There's a lady who what is known. We, where where are we in Mexico? No, <laughs> they do that all over the world. Yeah. I I oh. used to live in Europe and yeah, one person was <laughs> from like uh, Poland. Yep, yeah. Europe is where it's yeah. big like that. They have like some real. It was crazy. It, 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 it's like it's an not for everybody. Then, like, I wouldn't do it, but like you know, <laughs> it, it's like when you're walking through like one of those expos and they bring out like the dragon toy. You're like, how do you even know what a dragon looks like? 
Who, who thought of this mythical <laughs> D&D device? A, a, a dragon? Pole? Yeah, they have crazy shapes. Like, so, kids, please get off my, my life. <laughs> I, am, I am saying this with Why? as much soft-spoken okay. words as possible. I'm just yeah. like, whoop. How old are they? Are you I could, yeah. So, does anybody mm-hmm. have any questions for Shorty? I'm asking our audience that are chatting right now. Let's oh. let's oh, wow. talk about. Hey, what's up, Jess? Oh, you know, hey, we've what's got Alexa. We oh, didn't even notice that. Hola, we've got Jamie. Hey, Jamie. We've got Vanessa. Natalie. Hey. We've got uh, Crystal. Hello. They say happy birthday, La Patsy. Thank you, Patsy. Que la acabo de ver allá. Le mando unos besotes a Patsy. Patsy. Uh oh. You know what? I'm waiting for Sancho. I'm, Juanito, are you out there? Juanito, you know, you helped me last Sancho. time. Sancho. Oh. Sancho. Uh, we, didn't, said. we didn't sing her happy birthday. Let's no. Get it. Uh-huh. no yeah. You guys ready? You ready? Are, are you ready? guys ready are for you, my uh, accent? I, it's I, I, amazing. Let's do it. <laughs> <It's amazing>. One, <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> happy birthday to you. Sha, sha, sha. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Bernadette. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. So wow. Muy bonito. I know. Yeah, I agree. <laughs> I know. How nice. I feel so flattered. I even got flowers no, and Spanish. balloons. Like, oh, Feliz Cumpleaños. No, yeah. 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 So no lap dance like, today. Say, te la so let's go. Oh, no. Are dance. we doing in Spanish? No. No. She no. Was, we're going to do a lap dance? Who's doing the lap dance? Oh. oh. You guys just keep, I'm like, did you like look stuff up? No, tranquilos a los de. What do you mean did I look? Oh. You guys are talking about the sex expos. Oh, yeah. She's sitting down. I'm just going, whoa. <laughs> so, you know, no I'm like, eh? I know, there's no music, Chris. I don't know, just rebound it. <laughs> <laughs> disco, disco. <laughs> Take off your top, shorty. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa. 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 Yeah, let's empezar. Yeah, vamos a pin. Where's that song that's getting hot in here when you need it? Oh, <laughs> we got the I know it's uh, yeah, look color. pretty no, weird because I usually am not. You guys are fun. Uh, I love this. So this is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Party central. And what <laughs> happened was. What ha- happened was we're not in Vegas, so we're, well, we're, we're gonna. <laughs> but when not in Vegas, okay. So uh, we can go. Yeah, when are we invited? It's called are you Altitude, oh. and um, it's for Brenda. Um, yeah, Brenda. Hopefully, she gets on here. Brenda, and, Brenda, and are you here, Brenda? Are you? But <laughs> oh, about to turn out. Are you gonna make a party or do a party like? You guys want me to like page Brenda? Altitude. Yeah, we're paging um, Brenda. It's, paging it's Brenda, like, uh, please come to the front. And people who have like <laughs> stores and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. So since I was with Brenda, <laughs> she has seduction.com and. It's, uh, what do you mean, Sancho? So Sancho. Juanito says they, they have a penis puppet show what? in Vegas. What the? What, what the? the? Yeah. Oh, uh, uh, that doesn't sound like it's for me. Un but, you know. a Liz. <laughs> There's so many things I don't know if I should say. I'm just sitting here. You're doing a great job. Mm-hmm. Qué bueno yes. que mi mami no entiende nada que wow. se acaba de poner ahí porque. Son tan cochinos estos, ama. Ya, ya dijimos que eh, no es Ay, yo, show. Así siento. Mami ya, habla español. Ya, ya dijimos que no. mami. Yo te amo no, también. No, no, no. Disculpe, oh, disculpe. <laughs> I love it. Y al gallo también, dile que le mando un beso. El gallo es mi dad, dude. El gallo. Ok, I was like, no me digas, no me digas. De no verdad. Me digas, porfa, no me digas, no me digas, no me digas. Vaya, okay. tenemos gallos también, ¿verdad? Muchos. Mm-hmm. Okay. If Anyways. that's what we <laughs> Que huevos, sus gallos. Ay, también tenemos huevos. <laughs> Mami, va, enséñame los huevos. Oh, my gosh. Te voy a poner los huevos. Okay, we're going to stop. We're going to stop. <laughs> All right. You forgot I speak Spanish. I know. Mm. No, sí, sí me acuerdo. <laughs> yes, I'm in. Yeah. Marta dice, tu mamá dice, que cute. I know, mami. Todas, va. Oh, your mom's watching. Vivinas. Gracias. Yeah. That's what I said, mami. Gracias wow. a Dios que mi mami no anda mirando ahorita. Y que no, mi mami no, no habla. No, we don't need my mother okay. watching. My mom can watch. She doesn't understand. So it's good. <laughs> Oye, es que está diciendo la luz. <laughs> ¿Eh? <laughs> no sé. No. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all should come with me to Rainbow's Festival. That, okay. I did that over the weekend. Oh, and, nice. Um, 
that's like a mini pride. Okay. So it was in Phoenix, and I was in Phoenix from. So after I came from, back from Vegas, and I went to to Phoenix to do um, Rainbows Festival, and we had drag performances, a whole bunch of vendors. It was free to get in. It was at Heritage Square. Oh, how fun! And um, you should invite us next year. Yeah. Yeah. For real, roll through. So I want you to come back on and. Uh huh. Let's let's get you on here with some drag queens. I think that would be an awesome, awesome show. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. So you know, in our group conversation, I was talking about how maybe we should do something together. We should. With you in the middle of it. (laughs) Yes. Yes. I I appreciate that support, honestly. Yes. 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 Let's get into it. I mean, because I think it's... That's what we were talking about. It's ridiculous. It It, it really is ridiculous. The the, the ignorance that's going on right now. I think that there's a lot of... After all these years. I think there's a lot of apathy. A lot of people don't know that I've always been in the Pride community Mm. in the 90s as a kid because I'm pan. And mm-hmm. I'm openly pan. Um, I used Can you to, let people know what that means? A lot of people don't know what pansexual exactly. means. Okay, it is not to be confused with bisexuality. Bisexuality yeah. means that you You're attracted like to gender. both genders. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pansexual means it doesn't matter what you are. You could be male, female, pan. You could be lesbian. You could be hetero. You could be yourself and you're attracted to the person, Mm -hmm. their mentality. It's a part of sapiosexuality, Mm -hmm. which means you're attracted psychologically. Like to the... To the, in, to the to the psychological connection versus the physical attraction. Okay. Yeah. So a lot of pan people are like that, and that's why I've always supported the community because I'm pan, but people have always been confused about me because they, they don't know. And it's really sad that what they're doing to the drag queens because I actually grew up in California in the Bay Area, and I was near the Castro. I'm a Castro kid. That was my home. That's where I was accepted. That's where I found out who I was and got the support that I needed. When did you figure out that you're a pan, though? Because that's 14. I, feel like, to me, I, I always very knew. New. I always but knew I was new both. Than, uh-huh. I knew I wasn't bi. I always knew it was the person itself. Like, okay. for me, even, like, being a lesbian wasn't enough for me. So um, last year, I came out as trans because Mm -hmm. even though I'm not transitioning to become a man, I just feel more comfortable. You still are trans. Referred to with male pronouns. I don't think people understand that. They don't. They really don't. So this is really important to do some education. You know what I mean? That's super important. Like Alexa just asked, what is demisexual? Demisexual is a person who is... They need the bond. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. They need the bond more so than the actual it's gender a more or intimacy. Emo- yeah, so it's, it's a com- uh, emotional connection. It is an emotional, yes. It is a lot harder to... These kind of people want to actually build and the relationship at a slow mm-hmm. sentiment versus sexuality. Oh, okay. They can't get turned on without the sentiment. Yeah. So they need the bond. So they don't tend to serial date or hunt apps. They have to actually get to know you. They are more people who you would approach through the friend zone over a period of time. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to be honest with both of you because I've been a very sheltered person as we just announced that I'm very <laughs> vanilla, right? I kind of feel like you're hanging out <laughs> with <laughs> like... Like darkness over here. <laughs> no, but oh, here's the thank thing. Thank you, real quick. J- Jamie Vanessa just congratulated me on my weight weight loss. Yes. I, lo- I lost like forty pounds or something like that. I don't know. Awesome. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, you look amazing. Oh, you, you, you look so skinny. But yeah, yeah. thank you. you look good. But you, you, um, I think that this is good for you to. It to definitely, be educated. it definitely is because it opens the doors to conversations that are happening in everybody's homes like we talked about this with you know my my other sponsor carla mejia she was like i feel when you guys come on you're giving us some education it's not just hey it's just a, it's just a podcast let's talk about real issues that are affecting our community especially let's talk about drag queens because yeah. for me I see no problem with it. Look, if, if, if we can watch, uh, and, and this is my mentality, okay, what you do in your bedroom has nothing to do with me. Mm-hmm. So if you want to dress up, 
then dress up. We've been pay, we've been playing make believe. We've been playing dress up since we since Shakespearean times. Correct. That's so, what I was gonna say. So the fact that people are finding so much offense to it, are you gonna start uh, like censoring Shakespeare? Like seriously, right. because back in those times, men dressed both parts. And that's not something new. That's like, true. We've got one, what was it with with um, Mrs. Doubtfire? Mrs. Doubtfire. Uh, we've you, got uh, you got Diane Keaton with Annie Hall, and somebody actually came at me about that, saying it was a fashion statement. And what they don't understand is that drag is an art form, fashion. It goes even further back to feudal Japan in kabuki theater. So it's it's beautiful. Wow. Yeah. Education. That's a, yeah. So it's not necessarily just you know in the states, but like international. Internationally, right? for centuries, people have known and celebrated this art form of the aesthetic. And it did come from times where, like, as you said, men played both roles because even in the 1400s, women had to use a male pen name to be seen. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So, so at yeah. this point in time, I just think that it's ridiculous. You don't agree with what people are doing. Don't go. Don't mm-hmm. don't worry don't about what other people are doing them. if That's it doesn't affect point. you personally. But one of the things I don't understand personally is this. Why are they sexualizing clothing? It's, yeah. it's really scary it's for me. Just you know, clothes. It, yeah. I'm really small. Like people, you, if you haven't met me, I'm like not even five foot tall. And so when I'm out and I'm working very closely with the performers and everything, mm-hmm. and then you have people like at Rainbows Festival. Um, thankfully, I didn't see any protesters, but um, April first was a. Uh, I think April 1st, or is it was it Friday? I think it was 1st. Friday. Oh, it was Friday. Trans, there was the protest. Um, well, it was Trans Recognition Day, yep. or Trans Awareness Day. Man, like, all these legislators and um, laws that are being enforced and... Well, and then it's just ridiculous what people are saying, is that, that, that they are trying to sexualize children. In what way? Like, mm-hmm. I think that is so hilarious when uh, people say things like that. I think this is coming from people that, like you said, they, they lack education and exposure. People fear what they don't understand. Well... And and let's be honest. If, for instance, Diego had Buena Vida, right? And we had the amazing um, Armando. Armando. Oh, I love Armando. Yeah. yeah. Armando, he gave a great show. Mm-hmm. I mean, we had Loteria. It was a lot of fun. There was no sexualization of anybody. It was just fun. Right. So, again, you have the choice. We live in a country where you have the choice to partake or just stay away. And if you don't like it, then... Who cares? Like, just just keep your opinion to yourself. Do what you got to do, but don't you don't have to associate. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of people are kind of having herd mentality, and a lot of these things are people who are extremely set in their ways, trying to foster that this is degenerate behavior. You have to look at the area that they're from, like the, the era, I'm sorry. In the 50s, it would have been considered wrong. But it's just these are the people that are raising the fuss if you really look at it. And the people that raised them didn't educate them and give them exposure. They're kind of sheltered. Well, it's ridiculous because this has been in our culture for so long. You know, you watched as a kid, I watched Three's Company. Mrs. Doubtfire. I mean, come on, let's be real. Well, Three's Company was... That yeah. was revolutionary. Yeah, yeah like, because again, he was he was portraying himself as a gay man living with two women. Mm-hmm. But I don't see again as as things have gotten better. Um, is it is it just because you're afraid that people are like? I just don't understand. I it. think it's a masked fear of that is actually xenophobia. I think that they are using their misunderstanding of the interpretation of what it is to be sexualized. As well as they are oppressing the gay culture. And because they are afraid of it, they're going to fight because in their heart of hearts, they honestly believe that this is evil because they don't understand it. Well, come on. I'm sitting here with with Shorty. That does not mean that it's like, oh, my God, I'm going to have cooties. I will take all the Shorty cooties I can get. (laughs) It it, it is ridiculous. I, I, I... 
the whole thing about re, uh, drag queens reading to children, it, is, it, is it okay for situations like Joan Bonet to be dressed up like an older woman with makeup and, and put well, in bikinis, but that you can't read a children's book that's not sexual to children? Well, let's come on. Let's be real. Everybody, if, if, if you're going to go to that extreme, or let's just go basic, a woman or a man dressing up, that's that's playtime. We used to play. We used to dress up. We did. So how is that so silly? Like, it is just, does for me, it just doesn't make any sense. In it doesn't California, make sense to me in the 90s, we, like, just to, I used to cross-dress when I was first trying to figure out who I was because being two-spirited, sometimes I dress like a tomboy, sometimes I dress really femme. And... I remember this is like Brandon Tina era in the 90s. Oh, wow. If I wore boys' clothes, I would be shoved into lockers. I would be made fun of. You know, I wasn't allowed to wear newsy hats and like It's t- not I would only wear, that, but being. It, there's in, a fear. In, in um, gender specific clothing, yeah. but also your race on top of that. Yes. Yeah. I'm, ha- I'm half black and Filipino. Yes. And so for me, being born a female, but being biracial. And, and trans. then being trans on top of that, like, man, like, That's and then I'm short. Like, That's I, guess. I like you. You're a triple threat, too. I'm, I'm like yes. the epitome of what those people who hate, like, when I when we first came from the Philippines, um, I was living in Charleston, South Carolina, and I felt like, man, like, there, this is so different from the Philippines. In the Philippines, like, I didn't have to deal with none of this. And then coming to this country, that's like, something man. that I've and, noticed. And that's really scary for me. Like, I always see that you're out and you're doing the shows, and I'm like, I need to get out there. But on the other hand, as a mom, okay, I'm like, are you safe? Are, like, you know you, I'm a big mama's boy, too. So. Yeah. So those are my concerns, too, is like, are you safe? Because it just takes one crazy person yep. to do something really stupid mm-hmm. just because they don't understand. Or because they were taught not to understand. These are generations of people who are kind of with tunnel vision. And I'm not trying to sympathize or feel sorry for them at all. I'm just explaining the psychology of it. When you have people passing down that this is wrong for generations, you your existence questions reality as they know it and they freak out. Well, I appreciate you being concerned about my safety because it's and like I'm scared too. Like I don't want to well, go well, out. Well, let's like, be honest. You're my love. Remember, uh, I know. you know, I you know, know that. I love you. I, I love, love you me. too. And 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 I. Okay, let's bring it back. Let's let's bring it back to simply Edmonda because I mm-hmm. didn't realize that you had not <clears> announced <throat> that until simply Edmonda. Wow. Yeah. And 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 I am so humbled that you felt safe and you felt able yep. to do it at my show. So thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Like, I, I wouldn't, I'm not out there to get attention. I'm not out there to um, get sympathy or anything like that. But um, personally, I feel very connected to you and I feel very comfortable and safe with you. So those important things, like, I have no problem speaking in front of people. I'm not hiding anything. Right. Um, but you put me on the spot. <laughs> I did. I was like, we're going to do this. It was for her show. Um, back in November, she has a fashion show that celebrates the beauty of all different types of women. And you chose me to be your DJ, and I'm very honored about that. Always, yeah. always. Because you know that what you empower, what you do, just being you empowers other women, other other people that can't just be themselves. Yep. Yeah. Although I don't I identify I know, we know that. And and, and we still and it, we talk about that. But yeah. but there is something so beautiful about that. Thank you. It is beautiful. And so I asked you this the night of the show. <laughs> like five minutes before the show? I did. I really put you on the spot. I was like, oh, we're going to be, we're going to do this. So I'm going to, so I'm going to put you on the spot again. What makes you beautiful? Oh, that's a different question. So now uh, that I have thought about what makes me beautiful, it's, it's still a very emotional um, feeling, not physical, like, Although I've lost some weight and I feel more confident in that, I I just feel that the connections that I can build with people, my compassion, my authentic, being authentic, and 
Um, I think that's what is the biggest thing about being beautiful to me is that I can I can um, feel people's emotions and and relate to it. And if I can't, I'm still there for them. Thank, Thank you. you. Like, Thank you. Yeah. I, I love you. you. I fuck. Like, I love you. I don't know me bad. I love you. I love you. I love you. And 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 that's why this works. That's why simply at Mosa works because we support each other. We support women in whatever station they are, and whatever size they are. We celebrate them. That's mm -hmm. what makes simply at Mosa the most beautiful thing that I have ever accomplished. I think that Simply Hermosa, when I came to it and meeting everybody, was an experience that really showed me an opportunity to kind of come out of my shell. And I kind of think that Bernadette is a catalyst for a lot of us evolving. Yeah. You know, you have Shorty in his journey, and then you have me learning how to be plus-sized and confident and actually feel beautiful. And it's all because of these like, interpersonal relationships that we formed together. Like if that never would have happened, you know. Like I can't even believe that you got out there in your underwear. Like you made me. I love that. And like, you were beautiful. I uh -huh. rocked a coat. I was scared. I you were loved stunning. that yeah. one. That like one hundred percent was the biggest. You like, gave me my re re moment. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Get it. Um, so I'm excited about that. I am super super excited. Those pictures will be coming back. Oh, really? We're going to be doing a photo book. We are going to be doing a calendar, a Simply Hermosa calendar. Uh -oh. That's amazing. Oh, boy. Yeah, we've got so much going on. I'm super excited. Um, what we want for Simply Hermosa is to be a positive place mm -hmm. to 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 open its arms to women that are struggling, struggling with their image, struggling with their self-esteem, yep. giving them the platform, not only here inside the podcast, but out there. It's becoming a community of women that see each other, they support each other. Nobody is above anybody else. We're just here to help push you, pull you, cheer for you. Like, Empowerment. Empower, because it is something that's needed right now. I yes. agree. Like, I agree. Everybody, and we talk about this in the group, how, you know, like for me in November, I hit that wall. I, like I completely had the worst, um, and I'm still coming back from that. Mm -hmm. Like I hit a, a, that three months of me just, I had to shut down. I was yeah. emotionally broken. Well, you put everything into these things and I don't think people realize it. <laughs> Because of the two that I've done, I have seen you literally just take on the weight of the world and and dealing with models. Models are great and all, but they're all, I think they're meaner than musicians when it comes down to it. You know, they, there's a lot of emotions and energy and needs. And, and when you're doing something that's delicate, like having people walk in their underwear, <laughs> um, you're, you've also got to add like awkwardness and insecurity to that because some of us are, are kind of going through what's in our own head. Like every world is a mind. Right. And, and you've got all these worlds that you're just the ringmaster. That's a lot. It was, it was difficult. And then my personal life crashed and I had so yeah. much like anguish happened in that weekend by itself. Like I was completely broken when I heard the news about Arlena. Yeah. And, you know, that one, I think that was just kind of like the icing on the cake. Like that I couldn't, crazy. I couldn't go anymore. And I completely shut down. I took a break from everything for three months. I just couldn't do it anymore. That, I, that was really like scary to just, we had just seen her. We had just hugged her. We were talking about how we were like the OG crew. Right. And then I just, I looked on my phone and was like, this isn't happening. You know, it, it's, um, and that's why I'm so passionate about Arlena Sanchez Memorial Scholarship. Yeah. Like, I want to honor this woman because if you ever met her, she just had a smile that lit up the room. Beautiful She soul. was so nice. Like, I looked forward to going, um, to Cafe Santa Rosa, you know, to see her. Like, that was, like, the highlight. We would go mm -hmm. and have lunch, and we would go and see her at the bar. And it was just, she was just home. Like, she just made you feel. She was really 
peaceful energy, like even with everybody backstage with hair and makeup and everything, she was always there smiling, always just quiet, just, you know, and I would talk to her and we'd have a few moments and we'd laugh and that was it. Like I really regret not spending more time with her. I, I think really that do. um that since then, um, well, the person I was in the car with her and everything was someone that I was close to. Oh. Um, so sorry. Tony and then um a couple other people passed away very recently. Um, but Tony was a DJ and um and then I just recently had my friend Andy and then mm. um Pat Merrill from um she used to own Howl at the Moon. It was a lesbian country bar. Is that <laughs> is that the one that used to work with the DJ Shrek? No, no, no. No, there was a different one. No, one I of, don't know her. One of DJ Shrek's people passed away. Oh, was Andy. New, yeah, that, that was, was Andy. That was uh -huh. very sad too. I, I'm yeah. sorry. But it's important to celebrate life, mm -hmm. and I appreciate the condolences and stuff. But I, I feel like it's just more important to take pictures to make those connections with people celebrate everything that you yep. can while you can um i may not be the smartest motto but like i don't really care about money right now like i it's more important to me that you spend time with me yeah than to worry about this bill or how i'm gonna it money comes back it you definitely know? does yeah and you can't take it with you and yeah, I, I want to exactly. thank you because the night of the gala you invited me it was your birthday party remember yep Thank you. Yeah. That was a great time. I'm glad that you came out. You know? Yeah. It was, it was hard to hear that news. And, and nobody knew. Nobody knew what was going on with me. I just, you know, I just clung to Shorty that night, and we just had a good time. And yeah. and then I was like, okay, I got to get back to the room. See, that's what I mean. Like, with this whole thing of everything going on, you're just in the ringmaster. You're holding everything together, and I don't think people realize that. Yeah. Yeah. Like how strong, yeah. and how how much dedication and how much power you have to connect and bring network all these people together, yep. and then you have like yourself to take care of and think mm -hmm. about, and and you're so selfless, you know. Mm. So I, <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't think that people realize what it what it takes out of a person yeah. to do what you do because I've I've planned events. And that's why I'm always like, you all right? You know? Because <laughs> I'm like, sitting there, they're like, this is, and I'm like, okay, whatever. So, you have no idea. So like, I want to thank you. <laughs> thank you, Stells, because you actually, you you led me to Misty, who is my, like, my right hand now. Okay. Like, she's amazing. She's pretty cool. I, I love you, Misty, if you're watching. Misty um, Dawn. Misty Dawn is my, my right hand right now um i got a lot of love too for carla mejia like she has been she's dope she i love her yeah she's always she's, happy and saying positive things who we I, I don't know what i would do without her you know i i've been like i said on these last three months of this roller coaster ride um but let's let's make it let's make it positive let's let's give away we need to give something away okay i have I hope that people have been sharing and subscribing and liking. Um, what I is did it? Pop Studio AZ. <laughs> so if you want, if you want to win a pair of leggings, let's start off with those amazing leggings. leggings. Those leggings, let me tell you. If if you are a fan of Simply Edmosa Gordy Fabs, those leggings are amazing. I, I remember the, when the girls got them, and when you were at the, uh, we were at rehearsal, and they came in, and everybody was like, "Ooh, the leggings!" <laughs> they were like magical leggings. Everybody wanted to one. Everybody, I was like, "Wow, Mikey likes it." Yeah, <laughs> well, I mean, because even Jamie was wearing some the other day. Mm -hmm. I gave her some. Like, right? I'm like, Jamie, try these on. These are amazing. They make your they, they make your tushy look amazing, <laughs> you know. So it was really cool. So what we're going to do today the, for my birthday is give away a pair of leggings. But in order to get those leggings, you need to tag at least three of your friends to this show today. Ooh. I want to see it. Yeah, we want to see it now. If show you want Bernadette. those leggings, I want to see you tag your friends. Just three. Just three. All you need is three. But you got to do it now. Like in the comments or how do they? Yeah, they need to do it in the comments. Tag your friends. Invite your friends. 
we have a little bit of time. And then I really want to talk about what you're doing too, Stells. Oh boy. Uh, okay. So, um, like what's going on with you? I know oh, we were gonna- oh, A lot, a lot. <laughs> um, que bueno. Uh, last <laughs> August, I won as you know, Battle of the Bands globally and got to go to play Congrats. Life is Beautiful in Vegas with 75 bands. That's amazing. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. That's um, an accomplishment. That's, that yeah. Three days of music. Uh, got to play and be on the bill with bands like, you know, P. Riot, uh, T. Pain, Tech Nine. Oh my God. Wow. Arctic Monkeys was there. Wow. Um, Gorillas was there. There were so many bands there, and I was just, I felt like Cinderella. Mm -hmm. um, we got put on the Rising Star stage representing Arizona, and it was the, cool, the coolest thing was somebody from Tucson came out, and they're like, you're from Tucson? I'm like, Tucson, yeah. yeah. It was pretty cool. And scene. not even Phoenix, Tucson, Tucson specifically. It was, wow. it was like the home team. It was really cool to see the home team while on, on the road. Um, then we did MetaFest, played to Tokyo, Dallas, Nashville, um, we also played to um, somewhere in Germany. I'm trying to remember the name of it. We did basically four festivals after that, back to back, and, and about 28 shows straight. And then we're recording a double album right now. My band, The Velvet Crush, which is a techno pro project, put out a new single and a new album. Madness put out a live EP. Um, I'm going to get on that. We know. have, yeah, we, 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 get, we got to <laughs> talk on about that. that. Um, let's see, I have been doing modeling i've been getting published as a model i got refashioned magazine they yes they isn't made that me just the most amazing that was an honor experience? it was an honor um being made an icon was even cooler like they well, only cool. chose eight you're oh. you're an icon how can you not feel that way and <laughs> I, I i'm super excited for you because again it takes a lot when you came to simply Edmosa, yeah like <laughs> That I I feel so proud of you. Like you were my you, you were, and Danielle kind of like came in like fairy godmothers and were like, Danielle's all you're gonna model and like you're all you're gonna get on the runway and I'm like, this is scarier than getting on stage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I, man. You know, and, oh, and man. what I found it's so focused on you. Yeah, yeah. Like, because what you told <laughs> me is that you were like. You, you were kind of like hunched and you just didn't really want to talk to anybody and you were like I'm super shy and I was like how can you be a rocker and be shy you know I'm weird like that and, and, and I said well, well that's not happening that's not happening and that's here. why you put me in my underwear that's I just why. that's why <laughs> yeah I, after that I was like I have rocked my skivvies I, yeah. I, I can do this and I tell myself that actually when I get on stage and I see the crowd, I'm just kind of like, you've walked in your skivvies while people took pictures. Yep. Now I'm going to tell myself, now your skivvies are going to be in a coffee table book. <laughs> so yes. Good yes, job. Yes. I Look at that. It. Look at that progression. Too. I'm super excited about that. Yeah. Because I feel like we're we're now in our third show. We're going to be doing our third show. So awesome. if you want to be a part of Simply Edmosa, you want to walk the runway, you need to get in contact with Misty. Misty is the one that handling the modeling part of it then i've got my amazing sponsor miss luke's and she is going to be the one to be helping us with style okay. she's going to be helping us with our overall look and then we've got the amazing shawty over here she's helping me put it together he's helping <laughs> me put it together put it together what, what am i what am i doing <laughs> we're gonna walk the stage we're gonna do okay. something i'm wearing clothes all right got it I know, didn't I? Didn't I tell you? Hey, you're gonna wear you're gonna wear a suit. I, I need look, you to go. I look good. You look damn good. You should, are yeah. you gonna make Davina, her rock boxers? No, oh, I mean oh. I, I do that too. Yeah, uh, you know. Have I mean, you seen me? You go go dance <laughs> or strip or anything like that? I haven't. Whoa. Where can we see this? <coughs> okay. <laughs> so I do events and um. So so uh oh, it sounds like we're having and, an event. When are we having a, <laughs> an right event? Here. Um. Well. Since I just came back from Rainbows Festival, I was I was not all the way topless um, Friday night. Oh. But normally, usually at Stacy's, I'm, I'm I DJ topless, um, and then I've go go danced like just in underwear what? and like pasties. What? And okay. back in the day, I used to do um, 
like bachelorette parties, divorce parties, and stuff like that, and give lap dances. Where the hell have I been? Shorty's kind of wild, what? right? Okay. I, I know who I need to party with. Like I'm when like, I get my rock and roll entourage, I'm gonna call <laughs> Bernadette <laughs> and Luz and Shorty. Alexa, it's gonna make the Hangover look like a kindergarten movie. Alexa, you don't need <laughs> some confidence. You just need to get in the room with these women. They are amazing. Well, Alexa is amazing. She she was actually with me over the weekend at Rainbow's Festival. Really? Yeah. Um, it was her, my son, you met my son, yes. Adrian, and um, a couple other friends, and we were, they, they, um, we were in the hotel together, we were at the clubs together. Nice. And, um, Alexa. Performed together. Get in contact with Misty. Yeah. <laughs> You're beautiful. You, you have been chosen. <laughs> Alexa, you, you know you're stunning. I, I think very highly of you. So you this would be very um, fitting for you. I mean, you've come so long with how optimistic you've been. And and that's important. Like I said, when we do Simply Hermosa, it's not like you. It is about you, the model, but it's like you gain like you gain confidence being in this room with all these other women. It's like, like a sisterhood. And, and Luke, you it's were a there. Family. I mean, tell me, <clears throat> like a lot of these people don't understand the actual feelings that come <clears throat> out of it. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> See, oh yeah. my goodness. <laughs> it's your turn. It She's is like, your yeah. turn. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, to be on the show and be on the backstage, it's amazing too, you know? it's It was amazing, both. And then I was model, modeling too. So. Yes, I forgot you were one of my yeah. Models. I was modeling. I was doing the makeup. I was help, yep. you know, like with the times and all that. And then I was like sitting right there with my black dress, so pretty. Yeah, you were. I sexy. love it. I love it. It sexy, was an sexy. awesome experience. Yeah, you look good. So what Thank is the you. one I, that you? We try. We try. Would would feel like if you were telling somebody to come out, what would you tell them? To come out. Yeah, to come out and do the show. To model. Like perform or uh -huh, like, or model? Yeah. Okay. I mean, just to attend anyway. I think that it's a good experience. Just try. Um, just try. I Please. think that <clears throat> coming from somebody who has been plus sized and felt like society didn't accept me, simply Hermosa was one of the few things that I've done because I, I had done modeling before that, and it was just kind of disheartening to just sit there because I was the fat girl and no one wanted to take my picture because mm. they didn't know how to take my picture or they didn't know how to photograph women of color. I didn't have that problem at Simply Hermosa. I did not at all. I was able to do what you asked of me. The clothing that was made was, it actually fit me, even the underwear, which for my sizes being an odd size, mm -hmm. like Victoria's Secret is that she's, you know, it, itty bitty tata -ta committee. She doesn't have my stuff. <laughs> I, I can't really do that. <laughs> but just finding somewhere as a bigger woman right. was awesome. Like there's not really many places that I can go. You know, I, I found out recently I'm the same like weight and height as Lizzo but I'm like the rocker version mm -hmm. and I wouldn't have been able to do any of this had you not like put me on the spot. It changed the way that I appear on stage. My look changed. My comfort around cameras changed because I met Simply Hermosa and women that actually encouraged me. There's something beautiful about when you're freaking out backstage. <laughs> Nobody comes to fix my eyebrows. No, you know, but if my eyebrows were off, somebody grabbed me. Both shows were like, dude, we're going we're gonna to make you perfect. Mm -hmm. The fact that they, there was that love there... It really was a huge difference. It, it, it is. Yeah. It is. And they were like, Burn, are you okay? I'm like, No, leave me alone. I'll be right back. Yeah. So, <laughs> because I was running back you're and forth. You're coordinating all of this, <laughs> like, circus plus love plus empowerment with people. And all of these women, there were big ones, there were small ones, there were muscular female bodybuilders that were oh, amazing. My yeah, gosh. they were. And that's Rachel what I noticed. Is, yeah, she's, oh, she's amazing. This she's, year, it was all about opening the doors to finding like our bodies ourselves we as a community versus one thing and i don't think they that was understood it really wasn't because yeah. i got a lot of feedback about why rachel was in the show and oh, rachel wow. right mm -hmm. i got a lot of negative she was feedback. nice actually 
And for me. But at the end, everyone was like, oh, she, I mean. She actually she walked up to me and we had a brief exchanging of words because I was just admiring her from afar. And I was like, she, you are amazing. She really is. It's her persona. It's the way that she carries herself. But more than that, she is one of the most genuine people That's what I noticed. that I have yeah. ever met. And she talked about her journey. Like, I wanted women to be inspired by her journey. Mm -hmm. Like, we sat down, we had a conversation, and she was like, Bernadette, you know, I've been working out all this time, and I'm not, you know, I have self-conscious body images mm -hmm. and of, of myself. And I'm like, but you're, How? You're well, like a oh. physique, right? But think yeah. about all the hard work that went into creating that physique and then some of the things that, you know, unfortunately people – feel like you lose your femininity. No. And you, I mean, she even wasn't. more so, she was just stunning. She, she is was, a stunning woman. I saw her and I was like, she's walking art. She's demure. She's elegant. And I walked up to her and we had a brief exchanging of words. And what I saw was the genuine kindness of when I said, you're amazing. And she goes, and you're beautiful. And I just went, this you never happens <laughs> in reality. It only happens in Simply Hermosa. It's I, a magical world it, where people respect each other because I know if I was in the mall, that would never happen. Well, like people are, <laughs> are genuinely afraid to approach. You know, you sometimes you're just afraid That's to talk to That's what I to thought, somebody. yeah. And, and, and this is why it's so amazing, why it's so touching, why it works. Again, because mm -hmm. you've got these community of women that are looking at each other and wanting each other to to succeed, to be beautiful. And so with the photography, with, you know, Danielle and Jesus the first year, mm -hmm. and then unfortunately they couldn't be there the second year, but they had Jerry there. And then it's just, and there was another photographer in the back taking all the behind the scenes Oh, wow. Scenes, pictures, and those pictures are amazing. I haven't released them yet. Uh -oh. They are amazing. <laughs> there, are, There's a few here and there, but it's so nice to see. And then, of course, you know, there's some things that we learn from the fashion show that we need to change and correct. Some tweaking, it's always, it's, it's a progress, right? And so... You know, I'm excited this year because we changed it up a little bit. It's por mi raíces. We're going back to our roots. We're gonna we're gonna oh. celebrate our heritage. We're gonna you know we're we're bringing in Madre Luna. She is one of the she she's she's done this event with me three years in a row now. Okay. Um, and she's going to be kind of my co-host on this one oh. because of her beautiful artisanal gowns that she brings from 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 Mexico. Mm -hmm. Um. And it's a very different show this year. We're not going 30 girls. We're just not. It, it, it just, it's like, I've watched it's you from lot. the beginning, it's, and it's, I will say lot. every year it gets better. You're evolving. And, and, and to watch it evolve is this magical process where I can see that, okay, she's learning from what didn't work and what does work, and she's growing, and she's just watching your journey is inspiring. And I don't think that people realize how much you've grown since you started. I really don't. I really don't. <laughs> what can I say? I mean, I, I'm i learning to ask the right questions. I'm learning. So before, you know, when, we, when I put the first two together, it was all me and maybe a couple people putting their you know, their, their opinions in it and feeling their feelings in it. And I said, okay, this year I have taken it Simply Edmosa, as far as I can take her by myself. Now is where I'm reaching out, I'm branching out, and I'm asking mm -hmm. you, I'm asking you, I'm asking you, because I want it to reach more women. Mm -hmm. I want it to be more impactful, but I also want to put out something even better than last year. You are. You know, so I'm excited about that. Um I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to award Alexa the leggings. Alexa, you need to mes message me about those leggings, please. Um, hey, congratulations. congratulations. So congratulations. That's amazing. She's got leggings. <laughs> <laughs> she's going to use them. She's going she's gonna to fall in love with those leggings. I have three different <laughs> colors. Um, and, and so, again, we're, we're talking about Simply Hermosa and how things have evolved and how they're continuing to evolve. Um, you know, we, we chatted a little bit in the, in the com, you know, in the, in the group chat today. And I really feel like, we? well, you didn't, you never, you're always late to the show, girlfriend. 
No, this is the first time, and I wasn't late. I'm not the time. Dude, I get here at 5.45, and then we start at 6, so. She didn't get it. You didn't get it. You're, you were late to the show, baby girl. Um, you know? <laughs> but I think that let's... let's Let's talk about maybe doing a, a, a rock fashion show. Let's really let's do it. Let's, let's do it. Paper. Let's put it. Let's we put talked it about doing art rocks. I mean, like I could find like. some rock bands. We could make this sick. Yep, I'm down. Oh, you know, I'm always. I'm down. I'm, I'm ready. And then some takatakas too. But only if I can work with shorty. <laughs> some takatakas too. Only, you only know, just me. that's some yeah, for just Mexican just music. So oh, yeah. takatakas. I love taka taka. Let's gonna find some fun. yeah taka takas too. Just like one half. We can we can we can minutes. put the taka takas on like one of these microphones and they can just be like the the, the <laughs> other beat with the with the bass drum. Some taka takas. That'll be awesome. I mean the fashion show. The taka takas too, but yeah, Th- that's I'm it. We're getting her some taka takas. Yes. <laughs> well, it is my birthday. August second is my oh, birthday. Yeah. Are we going taka takas today? Is is it your birthday? I know. So taka taka. Is that is that the move? <laughs> where, where are we going? I don't know. We're taka takas. Taka takas. Where are we gonna go find taka takas? I don't know. It's, it's Monday. Monday. <laughs> but it's Monday, so I don't know. It's Holy Week, so we'll behave ourselves. What? It's Holy Week. I mean, we like we should still celebrate. Right. Like all the taka takas. It's, it's, it's Monday, uh, so it's the all first the, day. All the taka takas are behaving. I uh, know all the taka. <laughs> Today they're drunk. They're still drunk right now. Yeah, the, the Daka Dakas are out of town. It's, okay, they'll be back next week. No, next week they're they're leaving because it's Semana Santa. Is they? You want la pinche plancha? Mi plancha playa. Yeah, but they're leaving like the six, seven. They come back, ten, eleven. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Semana Santa. Well, yep. Damn it. No, but we can find yes. We're gonna find some taka takas. I, I mean, we can I, still go somewhere. Now, Kimba, but we, we oh, should. Yeah. <laughs> sure, yeah, like, like, I, I just want to go have some sure. fun. I, got you. <laughs> all right, I mean, I, I'm sober and I'm celibate, so I'm uh, still all about having fun, though. Well, speaking of, you know, we're having the big lunch party April 21st at yes. Moto Sonora. I am also giving away two VIP tickets tonight. So, um, Let's let's talk about our Moto Sonora um, party. Uh, we'll have from five to eight. We're gonna have our VIP where you come in, you get fed, you get drinks, you get a, a really nice little goodie bag. Mm. I'm giving away two tickets tonight. Uh, so you need to tag, 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 and follow right now. I want to see that we're we're trying to engage a little bit more on our sh- on our pop threads and our pop studio page. Um, and then, Luke's, you've got something going on, too. You wanna, yeah. You want to announce that as well? Yeah, we can do that. <clears throat> <laughs> well, um, I'm a makeup artist. Como muchos sabes, I'm going to, you know, Spanglish mix, dile, dile. all that. Okay, be, be pocha with me. So, I'm, I'm pocha with you, fool. Yeah, yeah. You know, I got this. <laughs> I got this. Yes. I got you, fool. Are you, are you calling me a fool just because my birthday was April Fool's Day? No, it's you, you're fool. <laughs> Oh my I gosh. See, so like, oh, wait. No, fool. <laughs> and what happened was, and, yeah. No, no, no. And yeah, like I, like I said, <laughs> I'm a makeup artist and I'm going to have a class so you guys can learn how to do your makeup. Um, it's going to be, it's, um, it's going to be at El Mesquite. I'm going to put the address and everything there. And it's $150. You get $50 on product, but today we're gonna give away half price Ooh. of oh, that. Oh. So, just in case if someone's wanted, just tell me right there in the comments, tag three of your friends, and tell me if you want it because it's gonna be $75 I for a makeup it. class. I no, want you it. have to tag your friends and then see if they. But these are tag. all my friends. No, put uh uh-uh. uh. How am I gonna tag? I, I, got, I gotta tag more friends? Otros tres. Uh-huh. So all I right, can tag 75? I Shoot. Okay. So there 75. <laughs> I'm tagging so people right now. And um, can can like tag, I said. Can I tag you three here? Yeah, I, no, I don't know. <laughs> Just tag three. No, otros, otros. otros so we otros. can get more people. Oh, okay. But if you guys want it and you're still gonna get product, you're gonna you're gonna get like the makeup for morning, afternoon, night, which is all different for weddings, for go out, uh, makeup express, skin, and everything. So, and I, I'm gonna put my 
information there if you guys. I'm tagging my friends. Does it count if I tag myself? I have my husband's phone. Hmm. You can do it. I'm going to tag me so that it's on my page. Nice, nice, nice. So, but just let me know, and then on and Moto Sonora, then. I'm going to give something else. I also way. forgot to mention, I have two gigs this week. Um, oh, that's right. Thursday, I'm going to be at Corbett Brewery. There's no cover Ooh. for Tribal Thursday. Ooh. There's going to be uh, Noah Martin Band, go Mo that. Fly. You work in Thursday? Um, there's yeah. painters. There's fire dancers. Actually, you should come check I, it out. Uh, it's what a, time? It's uh, I, it kicks off. Doors open at four. Oh, okay. At I court, go. and it's done before nine, so you could yeah. still do it. You could Let's do it early go set. day drinking. <laughs> Come oh, see I Method mean, to the Madness. Andale, pues necia. <laughs> and then Friday, oh, I'm... But again, so mom, you're not on here, okay? Oh, look, my son's on. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, Adrian. Hi, Adrian. <laughs> oh, hi, kiddo. Um, and Friday, I'm actually going to be headlining at 191 Tool. Oh, cool. So, yeah. I like that spot. Yes, yeah. it's, it's a neat. My it, second time playing there. So, so you're headlining. I'm that's, headlining. That's I'm closing. Amazing, it's like you know? uh, six bands or so. And we've got tickets on sale. And I think I gave you some to give to did your Did you give people. me tickets? Who wants tickets? Uh, yeah, I gave you a bunch. How many tickets did you give me? Uh, it's your birthday. I'm, I'm, let's say six. <gasps> six Four. tickets? Oh, and two. man. Four and so two? Wait, wait, wait. Well, so I mean, like, this Thursday, what's the show this Thursday? <laughs> uh, Corbett Brewery. If you guys want to go, two for you guys. Oh, nice. And then, you know, you want to hear some rock and roll and some metal. Yes, I want to go. Yeah. Again, Mom, sorry. <laughs> well, it's just a concert. Well, she can go. No, yeah. no. she can go to the nice show on Thursday. I know. I've that's never f- been there. Corbett so is is pretty cool. Tribal mm-hmm. Thursday is another place that's actually safe for everyone. Okay. Um, they also like Simply Hermosa encourage people to be themselves. Yes. So it'd be cool if you came out. I'd introduce you to Lady Falcon. Shout out to her. Ooh, that's Hi. awesome. They like Not to have different me. acts, different go? people, different things, and it's it's another place that I actually started playing because it was hard as a as a woman to get out there and be a performer. Um, it's mostly a male dominated industry and, and especially and then, rock. And then, yeah. Right. I yeah. was gonna say on top of that, being person of color. Yes. That's it's an that's unspoken amazing. elephant in the room, but yeah. we're not gonna go there. Tribal Thursday, however, <laughs> is a fun place that was a woman run event. That's awesome. And she brings in people and nobody messes with mama. Everybody behaves. It's awesome. That's awesome. You know, if there's any kind of weird stuff, people, not loud, but it, it's a safe place where people do poetry. Um, the fire oh, spinning yeah. is epic. Like, I'll be on stage playing and then I stare off into space and mess up my own song because I'm like, whoa, fire dancers. I'm at so the circus. So it's outdoor? Yep. It's, it's, it's in this little... Uh, like a patio or something? Enclosed... Uh, I want to say alley. All right, put it on the calendar, Natalie. It's an alley, and there's a stage in the back of it. It's like right around the corner from the hut. Oh, really? And um, oh, okay. Wow, the, really? They, they just put up tower speakers, and the bands play outside, and they across just, the street from the hut. No, it's around the corner. Like, oh, okay. You want to go uh, like literally a block over? Um, it's on Sixth. Almost close. It's around the corner from one of the dispensaries on 6th and 6th, that little side street. Okay. okay. So you go in there, and there's this, just this alley. And huh. there's people dancing, being hippies, and painting. And I love that. Oh, yeah, it's really cool. The tribe has always been supportive of, like, getting people out of their shell, too. So you you should definitely go. Okay. Yeah. You're, we're ready? We're done. Don't All worry. right. Well, we're going to have a party out there, then. Let's go. Yep. Um, when? Today? Oh, no, I'm just kidding. No, no jueves. Al jueves, a las cuatro. Thursday, ¿qué no te dije? Sí, yeah, jueves, a las tarde, a las cuatro, a la tarde, vaya a Corbett Brewery por la bulla. Did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that, Carla? This, you're this you're also Spanish. been invited. That's what I'm saying. Let's, <laughs> let's go. So, <laughs> well, I mean, if it's after, I have to be at um, IBT's by 8. To so, have the drag so, show. so then after we're going to do nine. it. It's, so, yeah, that would be yeah, my Yeah, no, it plan. stops at nine. So you'll hear everything from folk music to rock music to punk music to so DJs to reggae. So what time do you play? Uh, I don't know that day, but I know I got to show up at four. So, okay. uh, I mean, I, I tend to like to show up to see everybody and show love and, that's, and, that's and amazing be a part of the tribe. That, yeah. And I try to stay till the end because it's kind of rude when, like, you just mm-hmm. play your do set. It and then you bounce. Yeah, yeah, that's, like, such a jerk I don't move. like that. People yeah. who do that don't realize how disrespectful it is to everybody that came. Yeah, so for those that perform, yeah, yeah. I mean, get bands, with the picture. 
uh, <laughs> MCs, whatever. Like, you be there for the whole entirety of the event. Nobody likes a diva. Yeah. Nope. It, cool. it, it, the friend, and also, the people that you meet and network at these events mm-hmm. by actually being involved in the community aspect, be it a show or modeling or anything, you never know who's there. Exactly. You never know what magic happens. And being there and just being chill... I've met way more people. I've met other bands that we've done other shows with. Mm-hmm. I've made more fans. I've met some really cool artistic people and poets. And, like, I can't stress enough, the fire dancing is epic. So, that sounds so cool. <laughs> it does. And so, you know, I'm really excited that you brought up the hut, too, because I really like that venue. The, it's not yeah. the hut. It's it's Corbett. I know, but the, the hut it's The hut is fun. Like... Like, there's such a neat vibe there. Yeah, we played uh, Fourth Avenue Street Fair inside, the like, the first one, uh-huh. one of those days. And we had people hanging over on the side and trying to come into the white tent area when we were playing. And it was, I looked up, the place was packed. So and that's a fun venue to play at, especially when you can get everyone to sing along with you there. It is majestic. So how does a Corbett look for maybe doing an, that kind of event? Because I like I would love to do either of Corbett those. Corbett is an alley. Um, it it would be really gritty, really. Fun. It would be so Soho, New York, if you did that there. Right? Yeah, it, it, I'm kind of feeling that. You know, I've never been there. I'm, I'm it, excited. It's literally to check it out. got like Bama's a brick place. wall Bama's, behind Bama's you, place. and then you walk through the brewery, and then you get there, and then the you, bands. You had me at brewery. <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. Yeah, brewery sounds <laughs> like amazing. Well, there's a brewery and it's got like inside for when it's freezing. They they're they're really sweet. They put lamps out there for the heat because like when you're playing gigs, sometimes it feels like your fingers are gonna pop off because you're freezing in the winter. Oh, that does right? not sound fun. But it's cool when they've got heat lamps on the stage. And I'm like, I love a venue that puts heat lamps on the stage. Thank you for thinking about the musicians. Yeah, when yeah. they're considerate of yeah, no, they're yeah. really sweet there. Every time we've gone That's there. Awesome. I really like that idea. Let's make this happen. Go to let's, Corbett. We'll let's, see. let's make this happen. And then I don't want a big old show. I want a little show. Like I, I want one maybe. I still think it would be cool to have it at House of Bards. I really do. I haven't been there either. They got three stages. They got an epic outdoor stage. They got Where's that at? Killer sounds. It's that, it bit good? Midtown. It's Central. Isn't that on over Speedway. there? Isn't that over there by Chuck E. Cheese? <laughs> no, there's no Chuck E. Cheese that I see near there. Like Speedway. Okay, so maybe that's just too after far down. Swan. Just it used after to be Swan. Um, like Midtown Bar and Grill or something like that. I think that? so. Okay. Yeah, there's a little right. music store next door and stuff. Okay. That place is great. There's They've got a nice stage. They've got a nice big outdoor stage. They have a small mini stage in back. So you could have like a comedian. You could have all kind of stuff. There's plenty of room for vendors and stuff. Hmm. Hmm. You and I just got to go venue, venue shopping. Like, I'll Carla, show you some cool places. Carla and Misty, you guys up for a road trip? You ready for a road trip? Let's go. We all can go. Let's go check it out. Okay. Let's. let's <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. playing there on the 23rd. All right. You know, Carla. Headlining. You know. Yeah. Okay. I'm House having of Bars. a time. All right, cool. Yeah. Yeah. I have a show there with a band from Nevada, Heard About Madness, and they asked for us to play and headline on the 23rd there. That's fantastic. So I was like, touring bands know us now? This is crazy. All right. So, I, mm-hmm. so I, I I love talking with everybody. We're kind of wrapping everything up. I'm kind of getting the looks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, let me let me give away one more um, one more one more thing this evening. We're going to give away those those two VIP tickets to April 21st, the launch party for Pop Studio. Um, I really, I really want to make this a, a big event, um, and we want to, we want to support all of these sponsors that are really going out of their way to make um, Pop Studios something special. You know, um, especially like Moto Sonora, they they're going out of their way to host us, and 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 it's if you haven't been there, it's a really great space as well. You know. Um, I, I've been really fortunate, and I love that beer garden there. Um, and they're so accommodating right there at Moto Sonora. And then, of course, we've got, you know, it's being sponsored not only by Pop Studios, but Ola Tucson. We've got Carla Mejia doing some wonderful sweets. If you haven't 
let's let's talk about her cakes. Oh, her cakes. <laughs> I love cakes. Now that you mention Carla's cakes. Oh. She got them good cakes. She has great cakes, oh my Carla. God, God yes. Whew. It's all Carla's <laughs> cakes. But seriously, she's she's an awesome baker. She's supporting um Pop Studios. And then we've got an amazing um we've got Jessica with um Jessica Photography, right? Or? No, no, no. We've got Jessica with Fancy Flow Creations okay. that she's helping. Um, she's donating her amazing talent as well. She's helping us decorate it and everything. So it's exciting things that are going on. Hola Tucson will also be one of the sponsors as well. Um, Luce is always one of my main main people that sponsors. And I'm so like I'm so lucky that she came into my world. I love you. Thank you. I love you, too. Okay. So next week, you make me look even better, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you're always beautiful. I love you're you. Always, yeah, you're always... One of I these days. You. you just need a little... Ding, a little... Glitter. One of okay. these days, I want you to play with me. Mm-hmm. I will love That'll be well, a challenge. Well, yeah. speak, no, no, no. It's, speaking of... So, you're beautiful, so I So we're be. having this contest, Simply at Mosa's, mm-hmm. um, and I have two spots. Are we doing two spots? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are doing two spots um, of makeup. <clears throat> We're actually mm-hmm. going to do it live here on um, the Simply Edmosa podcast. Um, I am looking for two women, two women that want to do. I want to do it. Um, that that need some help contouring, that need the whole look. Mm-hmm. So we're looking for two women. We're going to. Consider how do we how do we how are we gonna select this? Damn it, I don't know. <laughs> how do I explain this? I don't know. Like you're just gonna do their makeup? Like for me? Yeah, I, don't... I mean, it, I, it's we're gonna do like a what... day and a night, and but we're gonna focus on a rounder face. So you guys are doing a makeover. We are. Yes, but it's more like to teach you how to do it. Like, so it's, it's not gonna makeover be makeover tutorial. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. but it's. Uh, it's not gonna be like to teach you how to do it professional, but it's gonna make you to do it how to teach you for you. It's a tutorial. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. For you. Yeah. Just and for you. And I'm it's super a customized excited. One. Uh-huh. I'm super excited because we're gonna bring in Bitty Bitty Bomb Bomb. Yeah. She is a makeup phenom. She's beautiful and she's yeah, she does beautiful. So that is gonna be a great, great episode. We may break it up into two pieces mm-hmm. just because we're gonna do a day and a night. And we're going to do that here live. So, again, awesome. a lot of women have asked, you know, hey, how do I contour it correctly for my face? Like, there's so many things that we don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And we think we're doing it right. Like, I personally cannot do a, a wing. I want to learn, oh. but I can't do that. Okay. You know, my problem area is I have these circles. What's and I need, it, What are you talking about? Which one? <laughs> I don't have them today. Oh, okay. Because she made you beautiful. She always makes me beautiful. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. And so those are the things that you know we're gonna we're gonna so we're gonna start a contest. Okay. And and we're really wanting to bring in some of our girls. We just need to figure out the M- rules of this contest. My biggest question for you as mm-hmm. makeup is being a woman of color that's mixed ethnicities can never find pigments like we if you could please please figure out like how to do a tutorial of how to find your shade because Mm -hmm. like i have seasonal shades yeah and that's a nightmare we all do because your face yes but we all do like it's just like we don't know and sometimes you're like oh i look too white or i look too orangey or two uh, yeah, things like, happen you know? with me where it's like I went to just go buy makeup recently and it got so chalky. I was like, I look I like really a joker. Wanted to. Like what? <laughs> what happened? Did I let the joker do my makeup? I don't know. Maybe I can make this look punk rock. Maybe I'll just be like Courtney Love and smear my makeup and just be like ugly, pretty. I don't. I don't know what I'm doing on stage anymore. So I really, really also want to do the drag queen. I, I, was gonna, I, was, I think that would be. Beautiful. I was actually thinking about that. Yeah. I was like, I know that. Um, Putting makeup on, you know, someone who is not necessarily born female is mm-hmm. it's a definitely a whole other animal. It's it's definitely challenging, and and even what I see in the community is is really beautiful. Is that 
the uh, more experienced performers will help the younger ones. Um, last week, uh, Diva is the host for the Wednesday night show that I DJ at at, at IBTs, and she had a Fresh Faces performance um, last week, and it was three coming up artists, and um, it was really good to like see how they perform, and they were hungry. They were they were yeah, like, okay, definitely. I'm gonna. I'm going to really put everything into my music, to knowing the words to the songs, my makeup, my hair, mm -hmm. interacting. Ooh. Like they, These are things that they don't teach anywhere. Artist you know? development is something Ooh. that is what if lacking we did a Simply at Most in our community, like big time. Combination. What if we did a Simply at Most of drag and well, and I keep saying we need to do I art had, rocks. I had a, um, <laughs> an idea art for you, rocks. but I don't want to take it's away from together. what you're doing, you know, because... Yeah. Because I feel that it's beautiful well, we can what have you're two. doing, and I don't want to. I I would love to to have it either included or something separate or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, shorty, I'm, you know my I'm heart winning. is yours. You know my heart is yours. But <laughs> well, yeah, we can have like show between. So however, however I can support you, you know that I I'm open. Like Aww. any kind of partnership with you, any kind of business with you i'm open i appreciate that of course you, you know you got that from me too i do yeah. i do that's why that's why we work that's if you ladies ever need me i and you know where i'm hiding bernadette so let's let's <laughs> you know <where> <laughs> somewhere in this disclosed, <laughs> undisclosed <laughs> desert so we're gonna we're gonna wrap this up but i do want to thank everybody for being here with me today celebrating my birthday thank you so much for the flowers pop studios um thank you for the gifts you always do, you, you always, I'm going to say it, you always do me right. <laughs> Are there toys in there? I, guess. I know. <laughs> I, I think so. I think there's, there, there, there's I mean, I got, No, no, no. I it's not, not some like kind no, of no, toy. Yeah. It could no, be no. a happy toy. Like, not even gummies. Wow. To be that on. I know. Well, but, but we're on to a new <laughs> oh. chapter. We need to be better. Okay, so we're going to... I'm gonna show you the the seduction.com site. That's yes. Really cool. <laughs> That's really cool. Can they We're like, like cue yes. Snoop Dogg's sexual seduction? Yes. As can, the we, exit music can we? Can we do the sexual, sexual seduction? seduction. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, did you fall asleep? He didn't. No se metió ahora. Okay, it's up to us, Shorty. Chris. Yes. There's Chris. Hey. Chris. Chris, we want. It's so weird calling you Chris, man. Chris. No, you know what? Yes, it is. It is weird. It was very we hard miss for me. you. It was hard for me to actually to to start being called Chris for a long time. Why? Like, Who's Chris? I would start to know like, like Chris. Who knew me from which, it's a fantasma. Which area? Ah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Chris, <laughs> Chris, we want you to play sexual seduction for, our, get for that exit from out. Me. I can't play it. It's Why like, can't we play it? Somebody put on the Spotify. You Don't. can't because then you're gonna have it all blocked out anyway. Yeah, because of the copyright. All right, so we're just yeah. gonna we're gonna cover it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh shit! Damn it! Okay, it's all good. But I love you guys. Thank you so much for being part of my show today. It was a great one. Um, keep. Keep us posted on everything that you're doing, all of you, because again, this is this this platform isn't possible without women and you, shorty. Thank you, you my shorty. <laughs> I say it like that. It's my shorty. Okay. <laughs> um, without you, like I am so blessed. Like I said, to have met the amazing people that are participating in Simply Mosa, from Ruben. Ooh, Ruben's coming back. We got him in a suit the other day too. That was oh, yeah? you remember? <laughs> he, oh, no, he, yeah, yeah, he was super fly. Ooh. Yeah. So we're bringing we're bringing Ruben back. We're bringing out Mariachi Pueblo Viejo to awesome. our oh, show. Awesome. awesome. Um, maybe Diva. Yes, maybe. We may be. With maybe. Armando? I don't know. Yeah. Yet. Oh, we might I'm do just something. Saying, I'm just saying. Oh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna let's but let's that's gonna be okay. fire. We're gonna we're gonna start working on things, um, but stay tuned, everybody. I mean, again, this is something that I feel very passionate about. I want this to be a bigger and better show. We want to keep it ultimately very classy because, again, all of the women that participate in Simply Most are amazing women. Um, we've got and, and just coming back to the Arlena Sanchez Memorial Scholarship, we have 
Selena Barajas awarding that scholarship because mm. um, she uh, she walked for her. So I've asked what her. What is the scholarship? Is it like we're uh, giving away two scholarships in in her honor for high school students? OK, for high school. Um, OK. Because again, you know, she left behind four children. Yeah. Ooh, and yeah. Um, in my heart, I hope in in my goal is to maybe in one one of her kids maybe get a scholarship. I would Aww. love to do something like that for them. Maybe we could do something like a fundraiser or a concert to make that happen. Let's mm-hmm. let's and my goal is to not just give out one of those scholarships. My goal is to give out two. You know, there are, I'll talk to you more afterwards, but there are certain groups in the music community that actually help raffle and raise funds for things like that. And I would be more than happy to put you in touch with them. So, Misty, we got work to do. So Call definitely, me. let's let's wrap it up. I appreciate everybody's time. Thank you so much. If you have won one of the gifts, or are you still interested in maybe doing a half-price makeup um, class, Please, please, please reach out to us. Um, and like I said, we're gonna we're gonna continue to promote Simply Hermosa here on our our podcast on the page. I'm getting better at marketing, so bear with me. I'm just one person, but I appreciate you. I appreciate and you. I she's awesome. I love you. I love you. Thank you for having love me. Love you. Thank all you right. all for watching. Bye, Bye. 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 Bye.